What's going on everyone? It's me, your man, Alex the Rambler, and today we're returning to Hearts of Volume 4, in which we're exploring a fan-made mod for Alex. It's totally me in the bottom right hand corner, over there, and we will be playing as a rambling royal republic. Even though we may be a king, we might be a wee bit inexperienced. Oh my giddy aunt, I need to get my chonker cup. Well everyone, you can tell that I'm definitely not Alex Rambler, I'm actually Mr. Mokelever, Mr. Americano. But regardless, thank you for joining me here, in which we are learning about the history of Ramblikistan. So our kingdom was formed in 1920, after our king was sent to Axel, Axel, by B, the British government. After he has claimed the British throne, he was sent to Canada, and there he started a revolt in the far west, where were he founded the Rambling Royal Republic. Since 1922, we have free elections every four years. Our king now has, has now led, has now lead our country for 16 years. The queen is the girlfriend. He still holds the title of King of England, Wales, Scots, Ireland, and Canada. Nice. Cool. So let's begin with the focus. Um, learn how to lead. Our king, Alex the Rambler I, has just become king some time ago. He needs to learn much things to lead us. Long live the king! And actually, I did go get a cup off screen. And as you can see on the bottom right part of the screen, that is my cup. I like the little Kaiserite cup. But this is the Alex the Rambler mod for Hearts of Iron 4, in which it changes a few things. As you can tell, we have our unique focus tree in Vancouver, as well as what I think is British Columbia, but the Duchy of Chonkasen. I've already set up a couple armies, already set up the research, so we're led by Alex the Rambler I as our daddy field marshal, and he has his subordinate generals with Rambulius Chonkasen III, as well as Sausage Rambler. Cool. Additionally, as you can see, we also have a unique focus tree here as well. Kind of cool. But we have a couple other things. Right now, we are researching some, you know, basic Hoi Fort mechanics early on. Or research. We're making a few guns. Uh, all we can afford are guns. Which is really quite disappointing. Regardless, we might use some light tanks. We got six divisions in total. Get some interwar fighters. Some naval bombers. Let's do some interwar bombers. And actually, with this mod, it's kind of unique. In which we can actually build our own factories here. Uh, with spending political power, which is quite nice. We can also get some free manpower as well, and we can integrate the Empire eventually, which we do get cores on, looks like, Canada, and the rambling Royal Republic will be known as a rambling Union State. I obviously do a great impression of Alex Rambler, but we're learning how to lead, and in true Rambler fashion, we shall go with a monarchist playthrough, because it wouldn't be a rambling Good time if we didn't do one. Our king is the greatest person in our starting empire. He will bring our kingdom to greatness. Long live our king. In which now, because of learning how to lead, he lost inexperienced king. Good. And back by the people. The remilitarization of the Rhineland, if you'd like to read about that, go right ahead. But worrying. And other unique things about this mod include the ministers, including the girlfriend. Matt, the producer. Drew, the big daddy gay paintbrush political observer. And then Sausage Rambler gives us a few more sausage boys to play with, which sounds very odd to say, but regardless. Mechanical computing is very nice as well. And actually, I think early on for our campaign, we shall save with the girlfriend. Now, the girlfriend is expensive. She has many expensive tastes, and she requires quite a bit of pee, -pee to satisfy. That being 200 of pee, pee But it does help with more political power, less consumer goods, more stability, and less political advisor costs. So, all in all... Not too bad, but let's explore. So we have the great, greater Druistan down in the good old USA. Unfortunately, it's mostly just a cha name change, and the paintbrush isn't leading USA, but the guy in the wheelchair is. Additionally, we have a couple other name changes as well, including the United Kingdom, which they are known as the Tea Kingdom, or Tea Nation. Eventually, they may change, but they're led by the ever-conservative gentleman, or grandee, Stanley Baldwin. We have the Surrender Guys with Leon Bloom. And then we have the Nation of Demonetization. I love that symbol so much. Hmm. Oh, it hurts me so much. Uh, the Queen is expensive, but that is okay. And then we also have the... It, oh, oh, we actually have basic machine tools. And we have the second London Naval Treaty signed. In which we will go with this first industry. And we have the Incompetend. Incompetend. Uh, army. People. Led by, you know, Daddy Benito Mussolini. Very beautiful. And, of course, it wouldn't be a campaign without the big red... Boy with Papa J S here. Papa J Stalin. J Stalin, they call him. J Stalin. 
Very nice. And actually, you'll see. We also have the, the uh, certain nation over here called Best Nation. You know why it's the Best Nation? It's because they commit war crimes. I love it. But regardless, we must have an election. The people of our glorious kingdom need no needs to decide who will lead this country in the future. Hmm. What will they do? Regardless, in addition to owning the Duchy of Chonkas, and we have the National Spirits Kingdom, of course, and Old System of World War, in which we get more political power, now we get a whole 2.25. We own, of course, Vancouver Island, but additionally, we also own another place down here, too. The Rambling Royal Republic owns the Duchy of the Falklands. Of all places, we own the Falklands. Hmm, gotta love it. The construction one is very nice to have as well. Additionally, I keep saying additionally for some reason. Radio? Uh, yeah, why not? Let's get some radio. We're building some civilian factories, which is taking forever to do. And next, I'm probably just going to go ahead and grab Drew, because, well, I like the sausage guy, but I like the paintbrush for slightly more political power, even though we could go with Alex the Archer, which is kind of unique, as well as, like, tried in true fashion, partial mobilization will be quite delightful to go down. Ethiopia's gone. Goodbye, Ethiopia. Uh, the research and production does not have any unique, you know, companies, which is kind of disappointing, but, you know, whatever. I know we get 2.38 political power, not bad, but the military staff is a little different. We got a thick rambler here, as well as Rambulius Chonkus in the third. We have for the Navy the Christmas Chonka. Ah, oh, I love the Chonkas. And we have the Happy Rambler as the Chief of the Air Force, with ISP being an available military high commander, which gives you plus 10% attack and defense for infantry divisions, as well as plus 20% attack or artillery attack and artillery defense, which is quite nice. We also have Tommy K, which actually, later on in the focus tree, I will show you that these are mutually exclusive, which he does give you armor, plus 50% attack and defense, and a little bit more max speed. Now, after elections, we must build a royal palace in Ramlikistan. A king is still resting in a villa in Ramlikistan. He is our king, and he needs his rightful place to be in. We will build a royal palace to give our king something back. We get a hole. One civil factory and a whole infrastructure, but the parliament has called for elections. The people can now decide who will be part of the parliament. We have four parties, the URP, the Royal United Party Democratic. They are the current leading party. The UPOR, the Union Party of Ramlikistan, the Communists, as the Workers' Party of a glorious country. The ASC, the Anti-Communist Faction, Fascism, wants an anti-communist workers' revolution, and at last, the PBUP, the Pro-British Union Party, the people of our glorious kingdom will vote today. Our king needs an then to decide who will become prime minister and will choose the cabined. Cabined. Uh, just to let you know, the mod developer does not speak English natively, so it's okay. So basically, we make a choice. Do we want to go down with demand Canadian territory with the URP or draw closer to the empire? Now, personally, and um, for just for me, I would like to go down with drawing closer to the empire just because, well, we can join the allies. We can become a puppet of the UK, but I think it's best if we join the allies and we can build a US embassy too. Uh, we get United Allied Air for even more population. And we get basically free Canada. Who doesn't want a free Canada? Now down here, of course, we get a bank Canadian territory. Um, I don't think you get it for free. The Royal Army Program, we get more population. This is our on our own way. You can create your own faction. Draw all closer to the Axis. Order number 52, 51. We can occupy the island in which we claim... Uh, we just straight up annex Ireland. We don't get cores on it, which is not good. We can return home in which we... Literally become controller and owner of Sussex. Operation Sunrise. We go to war with against Canada as well as the T-Nation, which sounds quite difficult. And we'll get a peace with Anna, or even fight till the end. But I think we want to go down this way, in which we need the PBUP, or also known as the Pro-British Union Party. Neutrality. I believe that is it. PB... Yeah. Good, good, good. Let time go on. Now, we'll get oh, election results. The PBUP, the Pro-British Union Party, won the election. The results, the UPR, 49%. The UPOR, 0.5%, which is the same as the ACF. The PBUP won a whole whopping 50%. The king will not choose the prime minister. Good news. Jolly good news. In which the flag slightly changes to the kingdom of Rambalikistan. Oh, no, of course, we could finally make a non-monarchist playthrough, but that wouldn't be very Alex Lamberly, would it? And we have the Olympics. Great. The games are concluded. We could have gone with a fascist coup, and with a monarchist playthrough, but different. Did? Different. Annex Canada, we get cores, and we just straight up annex them, I guess that way, join the Axis. Uh, Army of the King, we get some more manpower, strike south, war goal against Greater Jewistan, and secure North America. Or we could have done the Workers' Revolution, with give Exel to Trotsky, a form of the Revolutionary Army, and the Loyal Revolution, Worker Revolution in Canada, we just straight up annex them, 
and then eventually export the workers' revolution, get cores on Canada, and then crush the dream against Greater Druistan. Hmm. I think I like the way we've gone thus far. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and grab Blitzkrieg Theory so we get some more daily army XP. And then next up, we'll choose partial mobilization. And then we will start building a much bigger industrial base. Because once we annex all of Canada, we will have a moderately to smallish size industrial base to build ourselves up upon. And as you can see, we are out of manpower. Big sense. And Spain's already collapsed into anarchy. Well, I wouldn't say it likes Russian anarchy, but that's okay. That's okay with me. I'll let them kill each other off and have a good time. Oh, additionally, our ships are, well, not doing much. And we're all led by the Admiral, Alex the Rambler II. Quite a uh, handsome, dashing fellow. He's a career officer. He was an aviation enthusiast as well as a superior tactician, so... Truly the most experienced man for the job. Indeed. Let's go and grab some support weapons one. And after this first industry, let's go ahead and choose maybe a land doctrine. Well, we don't can't really afford tanks too much, so I think we'll go with superior firepower. Something tried, something true. Just, well, actually, that's mostly because, if you look over here, we can either expand the militia or build a professional army. Firepower is everything. Or infantry and tanks. Now, this is what I said earlier with Tommy K. You can get him. Or you can choose ISB to a government, which, that's really good. I really want to maximize our artillery. So, superior firepower, it is. Uh, draw closer to the Empire. That's not bad. That's really not bad. However, I would like another research slot in which we will start industrial developments. And you know what? It's time for an extra research slot. Our industrial expansion and other advances might allow us to conduct more R&D in parallel. Well, everyone, the German Kaiser visits our particular kingdom. The German Kaiser, who is in exile in the Netherlands, has visited our king in Ramlikistan, Vancouver. They and the queen went on a tour through our kingdom. The Kaiser supports our king and his plan to reconquer his empire. He all wants to talk about a potential conquest of Germany and the refoundation of the German Empire. That will mean that if we decide to conquer Germany, that Kaiser Wilhelm II will return and he will regain his title and his empire. But that is a question for another time. You know what? We could probably help them if we can. Maybe that's a good a good uh, thing, a good focus for our episode here right now. What we're currently doing, though, in addition to our focus, uh, is for us to build our civilian factory indus uh, in industry. Now, I do fade in, fade out s somewhat often, or I will be doing them quite often in this episode, just because there's a lot of, I would say, maybe some dead air, and uh, we don't need to waste time. But we'll, let's go through this a few extra weeks of trying to get this extra research slot, and then we will pursue going down to join the allies as fast as possible because well i would really like to annex canada canada's a nice place we've been there once for 20 minutes and that was it go figure regardless uh we also have gone to of course partial mobilization we've got drew of course and we're slowly getting quite a bit more naval experience as well as army xp now i'm gonna wait well, we're not gonna wait but we're gonna get civilian factories done first i've already selected one military factory so we have one 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 we need more but I want to get the civilian factories done first, and an extra research slot in which we shall draw closer to the Empire. With the PBUP as a winning party, we now need to draw closer to the Empire because they will be a good protector of our independence, in which we shall go ahead and grab another research using our research slot with Dispersed Industry. Well, everyone, it's September 30th, 1937, which we've already built a great British embassy in the Duchy of Chonkerson. We have also built a U.S. Embassy as well, just so that uh, they can guarantee us. I love the Greater Druistan, but I think right now it is time for us to, let's say, ooh, four civilian factories, four civilian factories. Also, in the rest of this focus, there's expand the Air Force, which is not too bad. I think it's time to have a Chonkasun factory, in which afterwards we will join the Allies, and we need to help of the Empire, followed with the United Allied Corps. But let's go get some Chonkasun factories, shall we? Well, everyone, you know what I like about August 2nd, 1938? Well, we can gain ownership over Canada. Our king still has a claim to the title of the King of Canada. Now that our kingdom is part of the Allies and the Empire, we should propose a referendum to annex the nation of Canada, but it's going to take some time where we lose some stability. We lose a little bit of war sports, but eh, you know what? That's the magic of fading in and fading out. We annex them completely and wholly, in which we get all these divisions in which cavalry, well, that's looking a wee bit garbage. And infantry, not too bad, but regardless. That's not good as good as a rambling core. In which it's... Oh, actually, I already put the artillery in there, too. And we have uh, divisions here. Oh, we have a full army. Go figure. Now, it is 1938, like I said. And we have a few more factories. But what would happen, let's just say hypothetically, if we were to go to war with Germany early on? 
because we have a certain decision here in which we can intervene in Germany because we would like to see the Kaiser restored. Another monarchy in Europe. We get a wall annex go against the nation of demonetization? Oh boy. Now what happens if we want to integrate the empire with Canada and the home island in our hands? We know we can finally proclaim the Ramblering Union. Ram Ramblering Union, yeah. We get cords and such, but we don't get to integrate them, unfortunately. Off screen, I've just been going ahead and doing more war support such things, and like this. And I've already activated, like I said earlier, the first Royal Militia Corps, which is why we now have uh, these guys, too. Let's get right here. This was the Militia Corps, but regardless, we are in the Allies, as you see. So, what would happen <clears throat> if we were to do this and... Uh, Call our allies into an early war against a certain few people. Volunteers from the kerfuffle? I think it's finally time for us to go ahead and build a professional army, though. And, well, we'll see what happens with everyone else. Besides, the Germans were justifying against us, most probably against Czechoslovakia. But regardless, like I do say quite often, an early war with the Germans could be a lot worse. Could be much, much worse. Uh, but after this... Not too bad, as we're just going to watch and see what happens against the enemies as we accept a lot more equipment from our allies. Well, everyone, we need a new naval ministry. The son of the king, Alex the Rambla II, crown prince of Ramblikistan, proposed the idea of a naval ministry. Our king, Alex the Rambla I, thinks this is a jolly good idea. The parliament has passed a law that created the naval ministry. The son of the king and naval commander of the Royal Navy will be the new naval minister. Good. Ah, we get a great national spirit. This came about because we have gone ahead and done form the Naval Ministry. It is, of course, June 16th, 1939. We've already done Expand the Air Force, which looks pretty good for production. We're currently doing building a University of Ram Likistan, just because, well, we need to spread the word, the good word about rambling. Additionally, as I said earlier, we've done firepowers, everything, but we've also done Invite ISP to Government, which gives our divisions quite a hefty boost. It automatically gave us this down here. Now, I would like to show you that, uh, th much like with the stuff earlier with these divisions, activate the soil, soil, the second royal militia corps, in which we have four more divisions, uh, five, six, seven, eight, eight combat width, not really cool, not really great. So let's convert them over here and send them back to Europe, in which, well, 1939 is a great time because the Allies and the Axis have gone to war, Italy's joined the war, Luxembourg has joined the conflict, Czechoslovakia for some reason somehow still exists, even though Czechoslovakia did get touched on her sides, and Germany's tickling her. Ooh. But I have a good feeling that Poland probably isn't going to do very well. The T-Nations lost about 51,000 men. The Czechs have lost 62,000, while the Germans have lost about 100,000. But in a few months, I think we might find a new ally in the, our factions of the Allies. As I stated earlier, we did find a new ally. One that might be a bit, wee bit Polish, and maybe a wee bit lacking in terms of defense. I've sent over 100 planes for Czechoslovakia, in which, well, they're doing the best they can. Regardless, of course, we are currently building Pokemon card factories at the time when Poland might need some help, but Pokemon card factories are much more important, you see. With the rising popularity of Pokemon cards in the kingdom, we need to secure the supply of them, because Pokemon cards, they bring nothing but, mostly, eternal happiness, of course. In which we're going to watch and see as Poland attempts to defend and tries to strike into East Prussia. Oh, those Polish horses big sadness. But let's take a look at casualties. Not bad. 165,000 versus a total of 9,000, 74,000, 60,000. Not bad, but you know, I like guns. I like new guns, shiny guns, tasty guns. Well, maybe not tasty guns, but guns regardless. Let's grab some more extractions while well, as I've been building up, or at least attempting to build up a carrier hull for good old time's sake. Of course, we need more artillery as well, or at least we will need more because now we got to have some uh, thickums. But maybe not yet. Let's go and reset that. Maybe we'll make some 40 combo widths. We'll see. I don't know. Regardless, uh, Poland. They're actually holding out quite well, especially with the che with the Czechs still holding out. So the Germans aren't looking too good. And the Italians, well, unfortunately, they're focused on highways. They can, they're allied to the Germans. But instead of going to war with the Germans, they focus, you know what? Highways. Roads. Infrastructure. we got to make the trains run on time. Man, that's a lot of red. I'm not going to lie. This is a lot of red. <laughs> Too much red for my liking, regardless. Let's go to work, economy. I say that word quite a bit too much. Regardless, regardless, regardless. We're looking not too bad. We're building some dockyards. We're building some refineries. And, of course, some infrastructure, just like the Italians. We also like to improve our infrastructure here, too. But they have not yet lost Danzig, which I'm kind of liking. Let's take a quick look. How is the Germans doing? Ah, oh, funny mustache man, huh? 
Alright, so the fleet is looking kind of small. 47 ships, they must, must have just lost one at max. Uh, the Air Force is not too bad. The Army, 177 divisions, with a total of 500,000 manpower in, uh, well, reserve. Even though they're only on a limited conscription, which is good to know. And they have, well, not that many convoys, I would say. But then again, oh my goodness, please. France. Or, okay, Czechoslovakia. Please, for the love of God. Please, do not strike out. Oh my goodness. The AI. Why? Why? Oh, what a great AI. As in, oh wow, we're really lacking planes. I wanted a second group of planes here, but... I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye, just because we need extra planes over here. There you go. 100 planes, not bad. I mean, even with Canada's industry. Oh, not bad. Not bad. It's, it's going alright. We definitely could use a spot of steel, so... Uh, Mr. Wheelchair-bound FDR, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Artillery's not looking bad either. Wow. <sighs> Czechoslovakia, all you had to do was hold out. That's literally all you had to do. You've lost Danzig, Poland. Pretty much. 400,000 losses. Versus a quarter, almost a quarter million. That's that's not too bad. Even Luxembourg killed 844 Germans. Not bad. Czechoslovakia, though. 200,000. Poland, 150,000. Jesus Christ, guys. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. But that... You know what is good? Building Pokemon card factories. Mm, military factories. I want some dockyards. I think dockyards would be nice. We could invite Drew, but let's wait a little bit. Let's wait just a wee bit. A wee bit longer. Oh, Poland, you are not to be. You are just not to be now. I'm really interested in knowing when. These folks, these fine Italians, after they're done with building infrastructure, they're now focusing on carriers. When will they come into the war? Machine, advanced machine tools, very good. More extraction? I love some extraction. I should probably should focus a little bit more on artillery. Regardless, I really need to stop saying that, don't I? Well, but more some war, war propaganda. And then perhaps. No, we can't go to close the economy. Maybe we should raise a conscription level. That might be very good. Now, obviously, I want to spend a little bit more time here, actually, with you guys. And we'll actually, like, look at the war as it's going on. Because soon enough, they're going to attack us. Or at least they're going to attack the French, if the French aren't attacking. Extraction 3, artillery. Yes, please. Merci. Oh, my gosh, guys. Oh, no, 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 no. Look at this. It's so painful to look at. Oh, Warsaw's gone. Oh, God. Two-thirds of a million are dead. If you're going to die, can you at least take a lot more guys with you? Now, we're just holding here. The biggest thing I've got to wait to do, or we've what well, we've got to do, is wait to see if Italy is going to be, be done exercising or not. Uh, but if they're going to attack us, that's why I sent all these soldiers over. Are we actually getting any more naval XP or air XP? Also, I don't think I told you what mod we're using. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Alex the Rambler mod, State Church Tool mod, as well as player of the Peace Conferences. Not colored events, but they actually broke out of Czechoslovakia. Ah, there we go. This is what I've been waiting for. Maybe we should stop training our soldiers. Maybe. Maybe not. But that opens up an entire front in Africa over here, as well as... Wow, there's a lot of Italian boys in uh, Gassi, Ethiopia, and Somaliland. Oh, no, not Djibouti. Don't... Oh, we only lost north part of Djibouti, or French Somaliland. That's alright. That's not my land. Hmm. War propaganda does give you some more wars, but which I've been doing the entire time. Uh, we, I do want to, like I say, reinstate the German guys. Uh, hello there. Oh, we have Bitbug. Is that normally part of Germany? Did we take that? Did the, did the Luxembourgish actually go on the offensive and take a piece of territory? Can you guys actually win here? Hold on. Can we actually? Okay. As long as we're holding down there. If we could actually win here, I'm going to be somewhat uh, impressed. Not going to lie. Hmm. Not bad. Okay, we won. We actually took a piece of German soil. Wow, Poland is still barely holding on. Uh, losses? Not bad. Ah, I love artillery. I love the Republic. I love democracy. Hmm. Very good. Now, what can we do the same thing in the Saarbrücken? Maybe? Oh, we might just be able to. ISP. It's all because of ISP. Him and his extra attack. Oh, I love it. Oh, do we even have... What am I what else we have done? Oh, you know what? We're going to grab the chief of the army. A thick rambler to aid us in our battles. Screw these guys over here. We don't need you right here. Do West Germany. 
Wow. We can actually win. This is unusual. The Rambler Nation is making progress. Oh, and they're attacking over there too. Well, in good old French fashion, they got encircled, but they haven't died yet. Royal Dockyard's not a bad idea. How about we get some invest in the local biscuit industry? Biscuits are everything, are a great thing. Our local industry needs much development, and we will give them what we need. What? What we need? Oh my goodness, how big is the Italian fleet? No, that's not a small fleet, but they got too many heavy cruisers for me to like them. Too many destroyers for me to like them, and they got literally two battleships. While the French fleet's not too bad, it's definitely smaller, but a little bit more diverse, which is better, at least in terms of heavy ships. German fleet looking pretty bad, and the British fleet, ooh, not bad. You know what, if you're actually going to attack here, oh wait, what happened to you? Oh, I put, pulled you off. You know what? If you can win, might as well try, right? All right, let's attack this way and see what happens. Can we actually win here? Maybe, maybe not. Mm -mm. Oh, maybe not. Oh, that looks like big sadness to me, my friends. Big old sadness. These guys in. Give them a few more days. Get a, a little bit more infrastructure, a little more organization, I should really say. And then go right there. But you're not going to go there. Uh, no, sir. There you go. Now, can we win against Ama? No, we cannot. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and pause. Pause the attack. Also, press H if we need to. Ooh, that is not oh, attrition. Well, if that is the case, let us go and move our line a little bit differently, we shall say. Over here. Wherever they don't have armor, that'll be good. Poland is not yet lost. Czechoslovakia, please stop. Please stop, please. Uh, can you guys actually win here? Yes. Alright, not bad. You guys, move on over please. Thank you. Excavation. That's 1940. Happy 1940, everyone. That's what my normal campaigns usually turn into, where I go ahead and show you everything that I'm doing and trying to beat the snot out of everyone we can. Or dare want to. Supplies are getting quite bad. But two factories, or two factories, two divisions. Oh, they might throw in a third one. Oh boy. Oh boy, come on. Oh, they threw in the third one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, they're going to try to throw another one in. Oh no. Oh no. That is quite a lot of red. We've lost 12,000 men, so be it. They've lost quite a few guys too, which is not bad. German interest is in Scandinavia. Oh, yes. Another front for them. And Norway too. Oh, this is sad. They keep throwing divisions in. Big sadness. Big sadness. Let them leave, because they're going to need to pull divisions away for the other fronts. And actually, the, the Danish are doing a great job. Hmm. All right, you guys looking good now? Are they moving back over here? I hope not. Now, you should be able to win now, since they did move some divisions away, but nope. Oh, nope. Yes. Yes, no. No. Yeah. Oh, makes sense. Well, that is quite disappointing. Who's attacking? It's not me. I press H. All right. Oh, how disappointing. Quite disappointing. But it looks like Poland is actually still holding on somehow. Czechoslovakia and tanks are looking god-awful. But that's not bad, especially on several fronts. That is not too bad. The year is 1940. December 27th. Right now, Denmark has capitulated. Bulgaria joined the war with the Axis. The Poles have capitulated. Czechoslovakia is holding on barely as an island within the entire Axis. Yet they still lost Slovakia. So now it's just Czecho. Go figure. With a few starving British soldiers. About right here. Cool. So, regardless, also very, very odd. The Dutch joined the Allies because the Germans declared war on them. But, <clears throat> I just realized this now. Belgium, or Belgian Lives Matter, <laughs> BLM, well, they're not in the war. So, we have all the Benelux in the war on the Allies' side, except for the Be, or the Belgians. Go figure. And Romania just joined the Axis. Now, Italy declared war on the Greeks. So the Greeks didn't like that. So they took out their anger on the B Bulgarians. But now, since the Romanians are going to get involved, it's going a little bit crazy. But I've done a couple other focuses off-screen. Uh, we've done Invest in the Local Chocolate Industry. 
We've also done, of course, invest in the local biscuit industry, of course. We did earlier the Chonkinson factory. We developed in the Falklands, of course. We have the Royal Dockyards, as well as, of course, these good old Pokemon card factories. We also did firepower kills to get some more bonus to artillery support, as well as old tactics for bonus to our land auction. We've done quite a bit of things, but now we're running out of focuses, which was breaking my heart. Oh, oh no. But we must invite Drew to become a general as well. So, we'll see what happens. It is, of course, almost 1941. Hungry's really disgusting. That is a long, slender, slick, sleek Hungarian snake. <clears throat> but now Romania's in the war, and, well, we're helping defend the Dutch. This is madness, as the Allies are continually trying to desperately attack the Italians. I don't know why. Like, yeah, they might win here, maybe, but they just keep attacking and attacking. But here are the casualties. 2.57, 2.58 million. The two nations lost almost half a million, as well as the French boys. The Czechs have lost three quarters of a million. The Poles have lost almost 700,000. 85,000 Greeks, almost a thousand Dutch East Indie boys, we've lost 55,000 ourselves. Uh, the nation of demonetization has lost, well, quite a few guys. We've got some better artillery. Happy 1941. The Italians have lost 700,000. The Bulgarians have lost 100,000, while the Romanians, fresh in the war, of course, have lost a few boys as well. And, hopefully within this year, we have a little bit of a conflict with a certain big old big red boy, or at least they will have a big old conflict with the uh, the German folk. <sighs> Czechoslovakia. Without the Slovakia, it just doesn't feel right. Especially when they own Western, a part of Western Slovakia through a tiny, tiny corridor through the Sudeten. That's nuts. Look at that. That's just why. I mean, yeah, we got a lot of pee, -pee now. Oh, now here comes the Germans. Oh, boy. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can make any breakthrough through here. Because it appears like that... We might be able to do a little something, something, if we catch a mud rift. Now, of course, we're still getting attacked constantly, which is, you know, it's alright. But with them focused on other fronts, we might have a chance to do some expansion for the Dutch nation, as some might put it. Even though the Dutch themselves are not very strong themselves, so, which really, really sucks. You know, let's go and grab some aircraft designers, light aircraft companies, why not? Very good. Very good, Kun. An actual true German city shall be ours. Now, you probably won't be able to win here. Ah, God, might be a book too soon. Emden shall be ours soon enough. At least, hopefully. We have invited Drew, and now it's time for volunteers for the kerfuffle. Very, very good. Hope you like February, everyone, because it's 1942, February 5th, because finally. It only took the Germans, until now, to go to war with the Belgian Lives Matter, BLM. <sighs> it only took that long. It took so long that I sent my other army over here to help strike down in the south over around here. Ah, uh, but a good thing to ca keep up on catch up on casualties. We've lost about 200,000 soldiers. Also, we're at war with uh, the best nation there. Best nation at war. Oh, they've lost a lot of guys in China. Even though we've done, we've done the most damage to Germany out of everyone. I think we deserve all the war score once this is done and over with. We've actually done... Not much against the Italians, but hey, I'm not really here to fight the Italians, you know. We cut off 22,000 legionary Romanians. And yeah, I think we're doing pretty darn well. Uh, oh, and the US has joined the Allies, so it could be a lot, lot worse. As we do say so, I would like to encircle these guys, but we shall see what happens. I've done some other focuses, including Expand the Port Defense, which has no description, as well as Pride of the Nation, Battleship Models, thank you. We're going to spam some submarinos. We got some new naval tactics. We invited German air theorists while we were at war. So, I'm not sure how that's going to work out. But we did it. We did it. So, regardless. Uh, I actually did make a carrier, but I forgot to make carrier planes. You know, things like that. You know, that just, it just happens. You know, we have... Oh, shit, let's go over here. There we go. Yeah, yeah, um, where, where's the ship? Where's the ship? Uh, let's see, where's the ship? What the heck? Um, yeah, maybe we should put some planes on these guys. Go up to 20. There you go. Not bad. Not bad. Czechoslovakia is still here, even though the Germans in the Axis has, well, made the snaky a little more snaky. And they're just making it snakier. Like, this is a tiny little pecker they got down here with a little bulge at the bottom. Oof. Or Germany's got his little bulge sticking up into, right into Prague. That is very disgusting. And now, the Czechoslovakians 
Or really, the checks just look like a giant tip. I'm not trying to infer anything, but they just look very tippy. Like, it's disgusting. Germany, please. Put the tip down. Go home. I'm trying to get rid of you guys, actually. Uh, I would really like to just mass charge them. I, I was slowly upgrading all of our soldiers to 40 combat widths, but oh my goodness. This has been such a bloodbath down here. Slowly grinding away at the enemy. And then we're slowly losing fuel as well. Not too much else has happened. Um, Drew Alex obviously has learned quite a bit, which is always good to learn. After that, we might just head down here. If we can circle these guys, that might spell the end of the war, or at least the European war, we should really say. Come on, move in, move in. Yeah, I didn't think you'd be able to actually win there. That's fine. The goal is right here. One of these two tiles. And hopefully it'll be soon. Because the tanks, oh, they're suffering from major attrition. Also, it's 42, and the Germans have not gone to war with the Soviets. So much for uh, historical, I would say. That's all right. Throw away everyone. Also, Mexico joined the, uh, joined the Allies, so. Go figure, you know, go figure. All right, let's see what we can do down here. Throw them down here and circle them and destroy them. Uh, let's go and do a new type of ship. Why not? Carriers? I love carriers. I love them so much we made them. And Rambulius Chonkison III has done a tremendous job. In which now these enemies have all been encircled. Two plus three is usually five. Eight. Twelve. Fifteen divisions have been encircled. Get ready to go. And we've linked up. No thanks to pretty much anybody else. Which really sucks. More excavation, please. Thank you. Uh, anything else around here? We're importing a lot of materials, especially from the good old USA. And, yeah, the Italian front is mostly just stagnated. Wow. How bad is Italy doing, actually? Wow, that is not good. Uh, Division-wise, not bad. Stockpile-wise, not, not great. Germany has uh, no guns. We got a lot of other stuff, but no guns. A lot of fighters, too. Not bad. And I, I'm, I'm always on the edge of... Well, actually, we got... Ooh. There you go. Well, have at it. We could force the attack, but that would that could be seen as a waste. Very nice. And the what are the Germans up to? The Germans are up to the U-boat effort. No, no need to go to war with the Soviets. No, 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 absolutely not. And hold on in, everyone. Have a good time. And we've done it. Beautiful, my friends. We've actually made an encirclement. And now, I believe it is time to do... Uh, maybe a general push in the center-ish. Of the line. A very concentrated center push. Now, let's make the rest of these guys 40 combat with. It's going to hurt our infantry equipment. But hopefully, we get a few good trade deals with some partners. And uh, they might sponsor us and do very well with us. Hopefully. At least that's a hope. Artillery, of course, is quite good. Also, let's see. Yugoslavia joined the Allies. And obviously... They died. Bulgaria has come back with a vengeance, even though the Allies are death stacking down here, which is a bad idea. The Italians are trying to attack again and again and again, and my goodness. It, uh, France? Oops, see? I love Belgian Lives Matter. And, yeah, guys, you might need some more... Are you, are you guys out of guns, too? They might be. No, they're not. They have plenty enough guns. I see the problem. They have no manpower. They must not have any political power to raise a conscription level. Well, that sucks. Hmm. I really wonder if we could try general attack here. Could we actually be successful somewhat? Somewhat, yes. Somewhat, yes. Castle? No. Some places, yes. Some places, no. Come on, Germany. Capitulate. U boat. This is not the time for you to be focusing on U boats. And actually, how's China doing? Eh, these guys are doing okay. Ah, well, actually, hold on. China's not doing too bad. Seeing as they took... They have Beijing. They have actually pushing Manchukuo back. And the Americans are all... They're trying stuff. Not bad. Please don't tell me the American Navy's not doing good. Oh, they're doing... Okay, they've got plenty of ships as well. Not bad. And now we're losing quite a bit. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Go ahead and hold. That's okay for now. Thank you. Thank you. You guys hold as well. Well, we're making our push into southern Bavaria, or southern Germany, not Bavaria. We'll be, we'll, we will be in Bavaria soon enough. The land of Bormann. Hmm. 
Commerce rating. Ah, uh, our ships aren't good enough yet. Is there anything else down here? Ah, stability for the Empire. And maybe a few more military factories. We've done quite well building ourselves up here. Quite well, I would say. Sell them thrust. Oh, don't let them go to war with us. Please don't let them go to war with us. That would so not be good. Now, could you guys do this? You should actually be able to. Oh, yes. Australia wants to supply some more guns. How are you not able to? Hold on. No, we have good air. And we're actually doing some ground damage, too. Hmm. That is quite peculiar, I would say. That does not make any sense. Uh, 40 combat with infantry. Dutch territory. Oof. Just not bueno. Not bueno whatsoever. Ah, yes. May 4th, 1943. The year that the United States of America and the British... Empire? No. The T-Nation invaded, navally invaded Italy through Sicily, the little heel of the boot, through Rome itself, actually, and at this point I'm doing my part as well as a Rambler Nation, invading northern Italy. The casualties, well, they're quite large, and they even invaded part of former Yugoslav Yugoslavia, as well as southern Yugoslavia, as the Germans. The Germans are just crazy now, attacking relentlessly sometimes in some places, being a bunch of Crazed animals. Regardless. Here are the casualties. 7 million Allied soldiers dead. Over 8 million Axis soldiers dead. Italy on the on its knees, almost ready to, to collapse. And of course Asia, with Japan doing its thing. You know, they're doing okay. And just a casually 10 million ch dead Chinese. So. so here we are. You, me, and the collapse of what will be the Triumvirate. Well, if it was TNO. Collapse of Italy, hopefully, very, very soon. Because once Italy goes... I mean, it's 43. Germany hasn't hasn't gone to war. They're doing naval production of all things. They haven't gone to war with the big red boy. I mean, I left it on historical, so I guess it's in the game that if they start losing too much, it's not on historical then. But no matter, we shall succeed and take over Hanover. It's a nice time of year this time in Hanover. And we're also doing some stuff down here. And I became a spy master of the Allies. Ah. The rambling nation. The kingdom of Ramlikistan has become the spy master now. Milan is close. Milan will fall eventually. And hopefully not too soon. Not too late. And we do have quite a few. Whoa. Whoa. What just happened here? Did they capitulate? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. They must have just capitulated then. Ah. Uh, it is. It has begun. And now we have a total of three carriers for this task force. Do not mind if we do. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. All right. It is time. Just go here. Just seriously, just take out Milan. Just go. Because now southern Germany is open for attack. And they're not doing very well, obviously. We could use a spot more fuel, though. Luckily, we have America underneath us. There we go. That should definitely help us out. Alright. At this point, I believe if we do a general attack, we could actually probably do okay. Force the attack. Force them down. Force them to die. Oh, look at Yugoslavia. It's back. It's back and glorious. Good. Ah, Italy is disgusting in 43. Absolutely disgusting. Hopefully our allies do not mess it up. Because southern Germany must be attacked. Beautiful. And as you can see, Czechoslovakia is still not longer here. I'll be honest. I can't remember when's the last time we saw each other. Uh, I think it was 42? I can't remember. By the time, it doesn't matter. We are striking as best as we possibly can into enemy territory without any playing coverage, which really sucks, but whatever. And we're running out of things to build in Canada. Or what was Canada at one point? Yeah, we've lost a lot of guys. We've definitely lost a lot of guys. Uh, not nearly as many as China, but 400,000. Oof. We've killed off, though, like 1.4 million Germans. Like, we've done the most here, so. Obviously, we deserve all of Germany. Ah, we're moving in. The liberation of what was Austria has begun. This really sucks that we're fighting, like, fighting an enemy that's not fighting the USSR. They have war goals. They've done the focus for them. So, it's really, really suckerinos. And how is Asia looking? Well, Japan, well, they're slowly getting pushed back, actually. Hinsking? Not bad, not bad. Uh, the Philippines, actually, Manila did fall earlier. 
But it's been retaken, of course. Japanese are invading down through here, but once we finish off the Germans, it should be too bad. Oh, hello! An encirclement! An encirclement for the ages. Actually, was France able to get any more manpower, one might ask? Auto routes? They were! They finally got more manpower with extensive conscription. Good job. Actually, we need to raise a conscription level, too. That's not good. And we're doing air production just because we need more planes. Ah, oh, glorious. How are you guys doing? Faring up here. We're doing our part. Definitely doing our part. Oh, you guys are starving. Oh, wow. Everyone is attacking. This should be the end of the Axis. They have 23 factories. About 200 divisions left. 300 divisions in the Axis period, but... I don't think they can withstand all these attacks. I really don't think they can. Especially as a slowly starving for supplies. Alright boys, you gotta keep going. Good, good. We're trying to decrypt them. It feels weird being the spy general. Or the, the spy, the spy master. Yeah, very, very weird. Magdeburg. Wait, where where my divisions go? What the heck? Okay. I wonder where they went. Ah, yes, America. Ah, yes, yes. We could definitely use more light tanks. Yugoslavia is looking kind of huge. Yugoslavia. And do we have any other upgrades? No, level 5. Levels 5, 4, 6. Not bad. Not good, but not bad. At this point, I'm going to go and throw you guys over here. Oh, we actually lost two tank divisions. Oh, wow. Eh, maybe it was a bad idea forcing the attack. Yeah, probably a bad idea. But what's done is done. Can't believe they cut them off too. Um, I can't imagine they'd have that many more resources. They're they're trying to focus on more suppression stuff earlier. Let's see. Yep, they're out of they're out of weaponry. Of course we are too. But the ship's not too good. And planes, they got some good amount of planes. Actually, yeah, it's not bad. Funny mustache man. Oh, funny mustache man. It is literally just a meat grinder against these guys now. That's all we have. Hmm. Are we learning anything? Are we learning anything? Drew Alex, are you learning? 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 Very costly to attack. That's what I'm learning right now. <sighs> I suppose it's time to stop. Stop the attacks. Well, we will very soon once these guys are done, of course. Go ahead and move on in. Destroy them. Oh, look at the supply issues. Oh, my goodness. It's probably best if we just concentrate everyone here. There we go. Those divisions are dead. Good. Very nice. How is Asia looking? Pretty much exactly the same. Oh, it's not going to be fun trying to fight over here. That is not going to be fun. It's not us attacking too much, no. We're just trying to get our guys up here. And we made all these guys 40 combo with as well, so. 40 combo with, with logistic companies. Absolutely with logistic companies. And I finished off the rest of the, air, uh, the, the focus tree as well. Not much here. I mean, heavy fighter programs. Not very many descriptions. You know, it is what it is. That's alright, though. So. Alright, boys. Are you up there? I could really use your help. Let's go ahead. And help out. Conscription. Uh, not conscription. Cryptology. 62% of the way. But then... This is very costly. I'm surprised at the Soviets. Actually, the Soviets... They took out Afghanistan, Iran, and Iraq. And made them... Little common turn puppets of all things. So, it's very, very weird. But they've decided not to go to war either yet. Close to the network. They're, they are avoiding the war with the Germans, which is not very historical, I'd say. One point seven million. Ridiculous. We lost half a million good ramblers. Oh, terrible. A new operative? Ah, yes. Virginia Hall. Come on, capture Berlin. Berlin must be ours. Is there another one? No, I don't think there is. Yeah, it's time to raise a conscription level. Oh, unfortunately, service by requirement. We must do it. Ah, oh, no, but yes. Oh, we're out of support equipment, huh? Of course, continuously attacking, we are way out of artillery, which is not good. Especially since it doesn't seem like our allies have any either, so. Good, Berlin is a frontline city! 
Oh, yes. Come on, come on, come on. Night vision's nice. Let's grab some more anti infantry anti tank too. Oh, Dick and Balloon! I don't know why they give it to the Dutch though. I don't think the Dutch really deserve it, I'll be honest. We have no event for the fall of Berlin. Don't tell me Warsaw's gonna become Oh Vienna's the capital for now, that's fine. Oh, we're coming back. Flying formations, let's grab some of this too. Yes. Down in the south, it is incredibly tight for supplies. Oh, actually, I'll send you guys up north. Come on, come on. The Germans can't hold up much longer, can they? Well, 70% resistance. Yeah, I don't think so, man. I don't think they can hold on for that much longer. Especially with all the repeated attacks. I am a little bit more worried about Asia, though. That's going to be pretty difficult to take out. Hmm. Ireland also joined the Allies, so. Very good. And we did get some more convoys, too. Earlier, we were lacking some goods. So. Go, go, go. Take Hamburg. That's still a very good VP to get. 82% of the way there. How are we not taking Vienna yet? Come on. Oh, my goodness. At this point, we'll have Poland completely liberated by then. Oh, we have Hamburg. We need Kiel, which will definitely help us out. They're 89%. Come on. Oh, we got Kiel. And now they're at 92%. That's only 3% more. That's not good. Oh, if we take Copenhagen, that might help out. Maybe, maybe not. Seriously, how is it? How are we... Feels like we're super limited here. Hold on. There we go. This is probably a really bad idea, but force the attack. We've got to push these guys until they die until next week. Seriously, how are these guys not dying down here? This is insane. Resistance suppression. Okay, so at this point, in 43, by this time, Stalin should be able to go to... should force themselves to go to war with the Germans. This is ridiculous. I don't think we necessarily... Eh, we'll probably... We'll do, we will probably need... Vienna. Oh my goodness. Look at this. It's just a mess. And yet they're holding on somehow. I don't understand that. Because we have no planes. Ah, uh, we might have a few fighters. Can we go bombers? Can we be... But the planes that we really need, we don't have enough of. Which really suck. We need way more artillery, too. Oof. Come on, keep pushing, keep pushing. If we get to Königsberg, that might just be able to capitulate them. We might not need... Um, Vienna. So go Kusslin, go Danzig, or Danzig, however you want to pronounce it. It's good. And it's, the game is pretty laggy at this point too, so. Oh, we're doing well in the north. We're doing quite well. Ooh, China wants, China! The Guangxi clique can actually give us stuff? You know, it's bad when China has given us stuff. <laughs> oh, you guys actually did it. Wow, that was actually really fast. Holy cow. Yeah, we could come down here, but the supply is probably just so bad. And I'm not attacking any of those mountains. That's, yeah, that's suicide. Koenigsberg is probably all we need. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. And you know what? We'll do it. And, well, would you look at that? Poland is back. Well, somewhat back. But I was correct. In which Koenigsberg was the last thing we needed to take. How unfortunate for them. But regardless, I think it's time to reinstate the German Kaiser. I think that'd be a great, great thing to do. And Czechoslovakia is back to normal. I gave the UK the T or the T nation, Hungary and their slimy little slinky slender snake. I gave Greater Druistan, Bulgaria, Romania, and obviously I gave France the surrendered guys. I gave them the Italian boys just because I thought it was a little appropriate. And here we are, Wilhelm II. Oh, very. Oh, okay, just from the faction, Wilhelm II. Not bad, not bad, but. You know what? Oh, we could reintegrate the Empire, but it does nothing. We just get cards and other stuff. And the Teenage Nation just kicked us out. But regardless, I hope you enjoyed this episode, or this little video. Uh, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and toodaloo for now!